Georgia's Cameron Moreland. So Cameron, from hurricanes to tornadoes here over the weekend. Yeah, we don't get hurricanes here in Wisconsin. We get leftovers from hurricanes, but we do get tornadoes, and we had our first tornado of the season touchdown on Friday. If you've been out of town or if you haven't been watching the news, here's an update. It was a tornado that touched down in Brandon in western Fond du Lac County. It was on Friday between 535 and 552 p.m. It was on the ground for four and a half miles, and its max width was 300 yards, so about three times the length of a football field and this tornado came without warning. It happens every year. We get tornadoes with little or no advance warning, no official warning from the National Weather Service and this was one of those cases. Thankfully, most of those tornadoes, if not all of those tornadoes, are of the weaker variety. Yeah, weak, but can still do some damage, obviously. This was rated an EF1 with winds between 90 and 100 miles per hour. So we've now had back-to-back -back years with tornadoes touching down in the NBC 26 viewing area um, during the month of May. This year, Fond du Lac County. Last year, was Shawano County. We had kind of a break in the action, and then we had some tornadoes back between uh, 2010 and 2012. And we are now at the peak of severe weather season here in northeast Wisconsin. Tomorrow is obviously June 1st, and June is the busiest month of the entire year as far as uh, tornadoes and severe thunderstorms are concerned. Now, here's a look at some big storms arriving in Nina over the weekend. This picture comes to us from Ginger, and here we have one from Rob and Appleton. The shelf cloud coming in from those thunderstorms Saturday evening. Both uh, Ginger and Rob, of course, are members of the NBC 26 weather team. There is a threat for some severe weather to our west this evening. It actually could affect parts of western Washera County and Marquette County. There is a marginal threat for severe weather, which means one or two storms could be on the strong to severe side. We've already had a couple of uh, severe weather reports across western Wisconsin today. Right now we're dealing with some on and off light rain. It is raining here on the NBC 26 weather deck. You can see some of those thunderstorms out to our west. We'll have a chance for those later on tonight, adding to our rain totals. It turned out to be a wet May, 3.35 inches of rain so far this month. And we also had a lot of warm days. We had eight days with high temperatures up into the 80s. And as far as weather records are concerned, tomorrow is the first day of meteorological summer in the northern hemisphere and of course we have an OTA for the Packers. Looks nice, sun and clouds with temperatures right around 70 degrees. It will be dry for much of tomorrow, just a chance for a thunderstorm early and then again late. All right, it's a word we've all been waiting to hear, summer. Meteorological summer. Astronomical summer is still a few weeks mm -hmm. away. That's what it says on the calendar. All right, we love it. Thanks, Cameron. Yep. Well, it's a series that everyone was watching. The Warriors and the Thunder. Charlie's up next to talk about the